Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm going to do a little video here um, on the OMC Evinrude Johnson uh, recoil pull start uh, unit off of about a... This one would be used on many engines in the um, mid horsepower, 25s, 20, 30, 35s. Um, and the one that I have here is just real slow retracting. It's off the, the 30 on my last video. And uh, so I'm gonna pull it apart and, and just see if it's a, a weak spring or maybe hasn't been uh, wound enough or there's a lot of gunk under there. So, and I'll show you the components uh, as we go along and um, how to take them apart and the importance of getting them back together. There's a bunch of little nuances, little things you need to line up and things you need to do for this thing to work properly. So as you can see, you pull the cord, the dogs, these are the dog paws, they come out and catch the top of the flywheel. Alright, so I'm going to start taking this apart, um, get you dialed in here a little bit. I got I'll be fairly good. Alright, um, so you'll need a half inch socket or wrench. Well, actually, let me let me back up. First thing I'm going to do is um, the the knot for the, the line because of the way I'm going to do this one. Um, it's under load right now, so we need to let this this off load. So you can either cut that knot or um, dig it out or whatever. You just use a razor knife or whatever, cut it. All right, so, and what I'm going to do is slowly pull this out, and once we undo these bolts, uh, I'm not going to give anybody a safety lecture. Okay, there, there it comes, so you can see there's where the knot was, and here's where it pulls out of, so keep a good handle on that. There's the pull cord out. Let me get a Phillips screwdriver. All right. So to keep that load on there, you can see these lugs here. You can come right in there and put a screwdriver in there. And now it can't unwind on you. But I want this one to unwind and get the load off of it. So keep your hand firmly on there, using your thumbs or the lugs right here. Just slowly let it spin around. Now if you haven't done this a lot, something else you want to do is take a Sharpie and mark it right there and right around the edge there. And then you can count the turns as you back off of it. So you just, as I come past this mark, okay, here we come. There's one turn. Yeah, this one don't seem like it's wound up very tight at all. There's two turns. Three. It's getting starting to lose its force. There's four. So that thing was only wrapped around four turns. That's not that. That's not a lot. Now, if you've never done these before, certainly put on some safety glasses. Um, it's a good idea. Um, these, like I said, that spring can come out of there, get you a pair of something like this, put it on. Um, so now that the load's off of it, take your half inch socket, back this nut up. Okay, set it aside. Same socket, come in here and take the bolt out. Okay, out comes the bolt. There's also a washer in there. All right, then get you a little screwdriver or whatnot, lift this up out of here. This is two pieces right here. Actually, it's more than that. It's, it's got this, and then it's got a compression washer, and then it's got the pan for the compression washer. And those are some pretty, they're, I'll, when I 
reassemble, I'll show you what's important about them. There should have been two C clamp or excuse me, E clips holding these clutch paw dogs on, but this one didn't have them, which I will re-add them. They should have been there. Lift that off as a unit, set it aside. Friction washer up under that. Set it aside. A little plastic thing for the friction washer to ride on. Set it aside. That's all that's left. Okay, now up under here is the spring. So make sure there's no load, and when you take it out, there's a pin under here. And so you want to make sure, you want to tilt it and kind of look at it, and it's trying to lift that up and pop that off that little pin right there. Hopefully, there's a little pin right there that fits in to the eye of the spring right there. Okay, this is called a friction disc. It's just a chunk of plastic. You can see the way it's cut to a special shape, two holes, and then there's this lug here. And this is a lot of times is what causes them to get all sticky. And so you need to clean this really good and then clean that really good. That's what causes them to get all sticky. What's left is the spring and the actual housing. This I'll clean all up. The spring is not broke. You want to look and see, make sure there's no breaks right in here where it hooks to the housing and that your eye is still there. So that's all the pieces to it. Um, a lot of times this fr friction disc will be gone completely. It won't be in there. I, I see that a lot. They're, sometimes they're there, sometimes not. Um, they get lost, destroyed, whatever. <clears throat> so um, at this point, I'm going to go clean everything up. I'll shut the camera down, clean this all up, make it nice, and get some nice lube in there and everything, and I'll come back and show you how to reassemble the thing. So give me a minute. All right, we're back. Doing this little vid on the uh, OMC recoil start. Okay, I got everything cleaned up. I got a nice thin layer of all weather um, molybdenum grease there. I've got this all cleaned up. All the other pieces are cleaned up. All right, so now we're going to start putting it back together. The first challenging part of this is getting that little pin back into the, uh, the winding spring. So remember you got to put this guy here on. And like I told you, it's bossed. You can see the two holes in that cutout there. So line up your two holes and your cutout. There you go. All right, now what I do with these, and like I said, let me get my safety glasses. Messing with a spring here, so here we go. So what I like to do, there's several ways you can do it, but what I do first is you look at the distance from the pin, um, and you can see that it's pretty almost dead up against where it goes in uh, to the unit, to the housing. So you might have to play with this spring to pull it in, pull it out, to get it to line up with that. But what I do is holding my hand on the springs, I take something flat like that. This is just a piece of old strapping steel. All right, I take it and I get up under that guy. I make sure everything's pushed down. So what you're gonna end up with is that. All right, and that raises it up enough that you can get you can somewhat see the pin to see if you're lining up. All right, so keeping this like that. There's, this is why these are missing a lot of times. What I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna put just a little Vaseline on this thing to make it kind of stick to it, hopefully. All right, see if that helps me a little bit. Line them bosses back up. Two holes in the cutout. See if that'll help me. Mm. 
hoping it will. I'll try and keep my thumb there too. All right, so you got to take that pin and try and get your piece of steel. I'm holding that with my thumb as well. Let's see if I can get that pin in there. You just got to kind of finesse it. And you can kind of use the flat steel to lift it into place. Oh, pretty close that time, but okay. It, I doubt you can see that, but it's in there. So once it's in there, I just keep downward pressure. And you might have to try this a few times. Okay, I got it. You can tell that by just that right there. So that's how I do it. I'm sure there's other ways. That's just how I do it because it's quick. All right, so we're not, not there yet. So what we got next. All right, the next piece to go in is that plastic insert. All right, now if you notice, it's got a notch on either side of it. it it's actually splits open. You can see them. there's a notch here and a notch there. When you look down in here, you'll see a notch on either side. Line those up. You can see down in there to, to where you're getting them. Okay. Give it a little twist and make sure it's, it's on them notches. Next, take your friction washer that sits on top of that friction plastic disc. All right. You can put a little grease on that too. Light oil. I think I'm just going to put a little light oil on it. All right. Put that there. Okay. Okay. There you go, that's where it's supposed to be. Now here comes the critical part of this, is these two pieces. I'm going to show you what's critical about it. Okay, you've got that compression washer. In this case, you got two of them. That's common. I've seen two, I've seen three, I've seen one, I've seen none. This one has two. But if you'll notice the cup that they set in, on one side is a flat. So it's round all the way around and then flat. If you look at this, Underneath, you'll see the, I'm going to get a flashlight because this is real important. There's that flat. So it's round all the way, and then on one side there's a flat. That is what causes the dog paws to kick out, is that flat. So, and this is a little tricky too. But also you're going to notice on this, notches. On one side you're going to have two long ones and a small one. On the other side, the side with the flat, you're going to have a single notch, a single small notch. When you look down in here, you'll see that exact same setup. You'll see where these bosses fit into those notches, one on one side, three on the other side. Okay, so you take your pan, put your compression washers in it, Okay, there's that flat right there. Find the flat on this, put it in. So it sits like so. And it's gonna be springy because of the compression washers. But there's the flat engaged in the washer pan flat. Now you've got to line these notches up in here. So just look down in there. You'll see that it, it, it matches those to hook up. Okay. Keeping this pinched together so it stays on the flat. Line up as best you can. The three on one side. And then do that. You see, I can't spin that pan. It's on the flat. That's, that's critical. Okay? But I'm going to take it back out because I missed a step. Um, 
get that one back. So let me get myself back orientated. <laughs> Alright, there's that back. It's on. Okay. We got that there. Where's my washer? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, we got that there. Okay. Okay. And the step I forgot was this. We have to put the dogs back on. That would be helpful, huh? All right. So. Okay. Like so. Now, we line up our flat. So, okay, now we look in there. Find the three on one side, one on this side of the notches. There's my three, there's my three in there. Now, And like I said, you got to keep pressure on this. I'll go. There. Give it a pushing down on it. Make sure that that pan is on the flat, which it is. Okay. Now there's a washer that drops down in there. Well, in theory it does. <laughs> okay. All right. That goes down in there. Now, we screw our bolt back in. Okay. Okay, just snug. You don't have to do it super hard, it's just aluminum. Put the top nut back on. And you remember those two E-clips I told you were missing. There they are, you probably can't hardly see them because they're black. But put them, there's a groove there for them. Snap. They were missing on this one. Which how them things stay on there is all the stuff in the center but it's supposed to have the eclipse there they are okay everything's looking good okay now we got to wind her up we counted about four on this so so yeah everything's good looks like so you can see the dogs kicking out there as I spin it, but you'll see that better when we... Yeah, okay, there we go. So, I'm going to wind it up, and remember you use a screwdriver. So, that's the hole there where your line's going to go in. So, you want to make sure it lines up roughly with where the... Uh, pull cord comes into the housing. So, again, I like to put a little mark so I can kind of count my revolutions. All right. So, let's get the wind. There's one. Two. Three, there's four, and you got to hang on to this puppy, there's five, there's six, and now I'm going to come around, I think that's going to be enough to where my hole is roughly lined up. You can see there's the hole and there's the uh, 
inside, you know, the uh, where the line has to, or excuse me, over here. So I'm actually going to back off to line it up then. Whoops. Okay, so I'm coming up on it, lining up. And so I want to get my screwdriver put in there. It'll catch a lug. And uh, so now, if you can see it, let me, I want to get a better screwdriver. That one I'm worried might jump out on me. I'd rather have a flat screwdriver. Okay. There. I don't think that one could come out. Okay. So, there's where the cord pays in, right here. And there's the hole where the rope goes. So, now, what I like to do is melt that in with my torch or Bic lighter or whatever and make it kind of pointy and also bend it upward a little bit. Melt that and then bend it upward a little bit like so. That'll make it much easier to feed in there. Alright, so I also have a little pick like this. I got one other little thing I like to have nearby when I'm doing this is a little little very sharp small little needle nose there okay so I'm coming through here and remember I had that bent up so now you can take your pick kind of lift it up push lift it up grab your little needle nose Pull it through. Hopefully you can see that. So I've got my line fed in, and now it's coming out where the hole is. Tie an overhand knot or a figure eight. On these bigger, thicker lines like this, I generally just do an overhand knot. and take you something that you can pull with good <clears throat> pull that knot down and then I'm going to trim it and then I like to take my torch keep that bitter in there and kind of flatten it out I also like to heat the knot just a little make sure that knot don't come unstuck for me Okay, it's looking pretty good there. It's nice and hard. Okay, pull it to where it's snug. All right. Now, keeping your hand tight on the rope, remove the screwdriver. Slowly feed the line back in. Just let it slide in there. And there it is. The unit's completely back together. And uh, maybe that's why they didn't have them Eclipse on her. Them, them, yeah, that makes them dogs pretty, pretty tight. But they got to be on there. I might have to. This dog's actually damaged a little bit. But uh, okay, they're kicking out pretty good. You can see they're opening in between the dogs, and then when it's like that, they're touching. So, I'm put a little oil right there on them C clips. That's why somebody had them off. Yeah, it is a little tight, maybe. Bend those E clips up a little bit. But they're, they're kicking out good. You can see that. And there, they're closed. So, that's it. Um, and like I said, you got the, the most critical part of this is making sure that that cup is engaged in the flat because that is what makes this, this nylon piece or whatever, kick the dogs out. So, 
that's what you want and she recoils good now nice and fast like it's supposed to so it's all cleaned up and I hope that kind of explains how the old OMC like I said this recoil is used on many models of, of Evan Rude Johnson outboards gales larks uh, yeah so there it is hope that that might help you out um, I think I already had a video like this uh, sort of like it on 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 the tube but anyway thanks for watching